Hello and welcome! Today we're joined with a very special guest, Mint Apocalypse! Oh, what's all this? Oh, I just thought my entrance could use a little flair. I took it out of your budget. Hope you don't mind. Oh no, it's great. Wait, when did you change? Oh, I just used a little bit of YouTube magic. See, watch this. Hey, if you think that's good, check this out. <laughs> I just wasted like 30 minutes of editing these time. Well, alright then, let's get on to the interview. So, we all want to know what inspired you to make videos in the first place. Well, originally I wanted to start a YouTube channel about cosplay and cosplay music videos. But by the time I turned 18, I'd actually discovered YouTubers and vloggers, and I realized I wanted to give that one a try instead. Were there any specific YouTubers that inspired you? Well, in the beginning, I was really inspired by Deja Booty, and I grew to be inspired by other YouTubers like Dan is Not On Fire and Amazing Phil. But I've realized that really any YouTube channel is going to give you something new to be inspired by. Speaking of creators, are there any creators still under 100,000 subs that you enjoy watching? Of course, I'm always finding new content, and there's a lot of really amazing channels out there. Of course, I like watching my friends' videos, and if you want to see their links, you can go to my channel and check the sidebar. But, besides them, I really enjoy watching Shazzy Brooks' channel. Now, speaking about their channel, I'm curious. Do you have any goals for you or your channel in the near or distant future? Well, I try not to think about numbers too much, although I am amazed that I've managed to reach the milestone of 50 subscribers. I'd really enjoy it if my channel kept growing, and hopefully someday I'd really love to go to VidCon or Playlist Live and meet a ton of really awesome people. Haha, <laughs> sounds like a plan. Now, about your content. What's the message you're trying to send through your videos? Well, it'd be hard to narrow it down into just one thing, but I really enjoy making people happy, and I want people to know that it's okay to be different, and it's okay not to be perfect, because we're all human. We're all just trying to make the world a little bit brighter, aren't we? Absolutely. Now tell me, do you tell real-life people about your channel, or do you try to keep it hidden? At first I felt like maybe I should keep it hidden. But then I realized I want to reach as many people as possible, so that's kind of gone completely out the window. You know, you sure picked an interesting channel name. Care telling us what it means? Unfortunately, unlike the motor scooter guy, Cheeky Plug, it's not an interesting story. I just needed a new DeviantArt account name, and that's the first thing that came to me. Then I realized, hey, that'd be a really unique, memorable YouTube name. Admittedly, though, it is kind of hard to spell. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's pretty lame. Yes. Well, it looks like we're out of time. I'd say tune in next time, but our entire budget was blown on that entrance. It was worth it. Was it? Well, I'll still be around. You can click right here to subscribe to my channel to see more content from me in the future. You can also give this video a like, share it with your friends, or comment below. And feel free to check out all of my social media that are down below. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.